Good morning, Vanderbilt, and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Morning View. I'm Carly Vaughn. And I'm Fallon Thompson. And we are so excited that you're joining us on this gray and dreary morning. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit warmer on Friday. I'm looking forward to that. With I was all under the my impression mic. it was going to be like warm, like starting now. <laughs> I also checked the, the weather last week, like looking uh, forward to this week. And so I think that might be a little bit of the disconnect, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Also, also Vanderbilt, we're matching. Oh, yeah, we kind of are. I, I just noticed that, and I want to point that out. Nice. We do that a lot. We do. Uh, we do. Yeah. I think uh, we end up always wearing like the do same. Do Kathy Lee and Hoda match? No. no. Uh, they never do. One day we'll be matching. on their level. One day. Okay. All right, so we've got to start not matching. Exactly. We have to start being different and not alike. We should also, I don't know what they're know. like. I don't know. But let's not know. match let's because that's bad. bad. And, I'll, and I'll bring in some, some wine in a in a box and we can just chug it on air. Except, just kidding, we can't because we're both underage. Haha. Ha. Anyway. <laughs> oh God, this is Welcome to morning view. Welcome to morning view, everyone. So, uh, so how's your week looking? It, it's good. Um, um, yesterday was really busy for me, but the rest of the week is like, it kind of fizzles out and we got like, not too much to do. So I get to enjoy the good weather. Yay. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll be nice to have a break, I guess. What about you? Um, I had an exam yesterday in my accounting class, which I think I rocked it out on. So, wait, you're in accounting too? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Where, when, when, when do you go? Good year. Yeah, but what time? One ten. So you're in the class after me. That's, That's cool. <laughs> Maybe so, the next Wait, time. so like, did you feel good about the test though? Yeah. Yeah, I felt good about it too. Awesome. And <laughs> yeah, Making my she, okay, good. seriously. She's the nicest lady in the entire world. Like, if you can take her class, she's, she's really nice, and she's super awesome and, like, gives you a great chance to get an A. So if you're looking for a course that you can definitely get, get an A in, take financial accounting. It's Finec 140. Finec. Whatever. I so lovingly refer to it. Yeah. Anyway. I like that class. Do you like that class? No. She doesn't like that class. We'll talk about it another time. It's fine. Numbers have never really been my strong point, which is like really like just like that's not a thing. <laughs> math is uh, not a yeah. thing for you. <laughs> yeah, math is not a thing. I don't believe in that. so what oh my environmental philosophy professor, he would like grade our papers. I think I've talked about this. He would grade our papers, but like just totally make up the letter grade. Like he would give us a certain amount of points and it would like calculate to like a B minus and he's like, Oh yeah, no, it's an A. He's like, I don't oh, believe in nice. numbers. I was like, I get you. That's nice. Anyway. anyway, okay. Other than our financial accounting class, there's a ton going on. Not, uh, not, not, around, around, not around Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Since we're all focused on election week, but we'll get to that later. So Vanderbilt, since it appears that most of the attention is going to uh, this week is going to election week, and rightly so, there's not much breaking news around campus. So let's take a look outside of the Vanderbilt for a second and see what's going on around the world. Facing little resistance from Ukrainian servicemen, Crimea is the self-defense forces to Ukraine's Navy headquarters in the port of Sevastopol on Wednesday. The men first took the square outside the building and raised the Russian flag. Upon the arrival of the commander of the Russian Black Sea fleet, they took the headquarters themselves without resistance as the Ukrainians packed and left. The takeover comes just a day after Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a treaty to, say Crimea, to make Crimea part of Russia. And then after getting around security at the Sama Sama Hotel near the Kuala Lumpur International Airport on Wednesday, angry relatives of Chinese passengers stormed a press briefing demanding answers. Security officials physically removed the protesters and locked them in a room across the conference hall where they could not speak to the assembled, assembled media. This anger is coming from the Malaysia Airlines plane that went missing under what some believe to be suspicious terms on March 8th. The search for the 227 passengers and 12 crew members has now been reported as the longest, in, the longest search in aviation history. And the National Transportation Safety Board announced Tuesday that federal investigators found a gas leak in a natural gas main near one of the two East Harlem buildings that collapsed last week. The collapse, which came after an explosion, killed eight people. The gas main is made of 127-year-old cast iron as well as new plastic. The news came about their, or the news about the gas main came after soil samples near the explosion pointing to a possible gas leak. However, experts 
stress that the news about the maze does not prove that the underground gas pipe leak caused the disaster. And in her first public speech since General Motors recalled 1.6 million cars after dozens of accidents and 12 deaths were linked to the model, CEO Mary Barra apologized and said it took too long for the automaker to respond. GM had been aware as far back as 2001 about faulty ignition switches. I'm very sorry for the loss of life that occurred, and we will take every step to make sure this never happens again, she said. However, Barr did not say the company would pay the victim's family. And on a more lighthearted note, yesterday Disney announced that it is working on sequels for both The Incredibles and Cars. The movie giant also made news with more Star Wars details, including that the next movie will start 30 years after 1983's Return of the Jedi. Hinting at rumors of Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher cameos, Disney CEO Bob Iger said, Eager? Mm, sorry. There will be some familiar fa faces along with a trio of new young leads. In other children and young adult news, Deadline is also reporting that Sofia Coppola is in negotiations to direct a live action version of The Little Mermaid for Universal Pictures. And now we're going to we're gonna take it to Carly, who has a very special interview for us in honor of this week's VSG election. Thanks, Fallon. I'm here with Ryan McKenney, who I hope that you know is running for VSG yeah, president. You should know that by this point. I'm not having trouble. <laughs> uh, we actually only have about two hours left until the election closes, so we wanted to give Ryan a kind of a last-minute effort to get his message out to all of you Vanderbilt voters out there. So um, just to kind of start out, what was your biggest inspiration for running for president of VSG? Yeah, so I didn't do VSG freshman year, and sophomore year I was in the committee. This year I've done uh, first year relations. And the biggest thing that frustrates me is that people don't understand what VSG does. It's kind of a closed organization, and it's one that has a ton of funding. It has ties with administrators, but we don't really use those to our advantage. I think we should work a lot harder to touch each and every student's life, and it should be our sole goal to funnel resources back to student organizations. I'm running to be a more active student body president. I want to be held accountable to all 6,000 Vanderbilt students and to make everyone's life tangibly better through BSG because we can do that, but that's what student government was meant to do. Awesome. So how do you plan on being more accessible to the Vanderbilt uh, population, I guess? First, I think we've got to hold ourselves accountable within BSG. Me, my VP, all of the cabinet members and senators should be out at general body meetings, at chapter meetings, continuously telling people what BSG is doing and also reaching out and saying, what are you doing? What support do you need from us, whether that's funding, whether that's PR? I've just got to be everywhere. It should be more than just an email. BSG has got to be seen as a resource for all organizations so that if I'm trying to start a new organization, trying to have a big event, the first thing I think of is how can student government help me? And I think by reaching out, we are more accessible, we'll be able to help a lot more people. Awesome. So I know the platform has a lot about um, curricular curricular changes. Do you want to talk a little bit about that and um, how you want to change that a little bit here? Yeah, so I'm an Ingram Scholar and my running mate Hannah Gakey is also an ASP site leader. So service is a huge part of what we're doing and we want service learning to be part of the curricula of all four schools. So that's where, right now it's just an HOD, but when you take a class, you're going out into Nashville, you're working with different communities, different nonprofits, and you're getting credit for doing that. So you have a better understanding of Nashville, of the issues facing the community outside of the Vandy Bowl, but you're also getting credit. So I think it leads to a different mindset of service, as well as helping people still get academic credit while doing so. Awesome, That's yeah, that sounds great. Um, uh, also, you know, there are some, I guess you could call them controversial issues on your, on your, um, on your campaign, sure. as such as the gender neutral bathrooms, right. and um, you know, hopefully this really isn't that controversial with the whole sexual assault thing that, right. you talk, that you guys talk about. So, how do you plan on, you know, facing any opposition that you you know may face from the Vanderbilt student population? Sure. I mean, I think too often VSG just plays to the politically correct game, and we do not step out of a comfort zone to take a stand on on issues. But after a lot of conversations I've had with people from the Casey Potter Center within the LGBTQI community, I don't think Vanderbilt is really a safe and open place to come out as someone uh, in the LGBTQI community. And we've got to do better to extend our hand out to that and support students. And gender neutral bathrooms is not a thing that's going to cost a lot of money. It's not going to think, be something that makes huge waves, but it's a sign that the university, the administration supports diversity and pro uh, provides inclusion. And so it's the first step towards making a culture change, towards being more open, being more inclusive. And I'm fine that it's controversial because I think that's great. VSG needs to take more stands on issues like that. All right. So is there anything else that you want to say to the Vanderbilt voters before we uh, yeah. reach the end of the campaign here? 
I think just please vote. I think apathy is such a huge part of why last year less than 50% of students voted. VSU is an organization that's got resources to help each and every student, and we want to do that for every organization. We want to make ourselves known, to make our initiatives out there for all students. And so please vote because it does make a difference, and it's your student government. It's not student government for sake of VSG. It's student government for sake of all Vanderbilt students. So please vote. It ends at noon today, and we'll have our uh, results in at 1230. So all right. thank you, guys. Thank you so much for being yeah, here. Definitely. Back to you, Fallon. Good luck with that, Ryan. Um, and I guess in the light of this week, I'd like to point out something that I personally noticed about election week and appreciated about all of these candidates. And that's that they're all really weird. I was actually reading an interesting piece on Inside Vandy about the two presidential candidates earlier this morning. It talked all about the secret things we needed to know about the candidates. And I found out a lot of really cool stuff, like that Ryan has lunch with Miss Anne from Last Rock quite often. And Tanner is just a big teddy bear who loves romance flicks. And then I went on Newsfeed, actually, surprisingly, and I found out, oh, surprisingly enough, um, and I found out that a lot of cool stuff, or a, a lot of cool stuff about former U.S. presidents as well. Like, did you know that Thomas Jefferson invented the swivel chair? John Quincy Adams and Herbert Hoover both had pet alligators. And good old Andrew Jackson taught his parrot how to curse, and it got to be so bad that the parrot had to be removed from Jackson's funerals for swearing too much. Millard Fillmore had a schoolboy crush and married his teacher. Franklin Roosevelt wore dresses up until the age of five. During a radio interview, Bill Clinton aced a quiz about My Little Pony. And our own Barack Obama is an avid collector of comics, but in particular of Spider-Man and Conan the Barbarian comics. And I'm not sure how true all that is, but it's great stuff like that that reminds me of why it's so important to vote this week, like Ryan said. These VSG candidates are people too, just like you and me. They have ideas and passions, and they work really hard. And I think we owe it to all four candidates, no matter who you decide to vote for, to at the very least vote. They've put so much hard work into this school, and that's not very hard to see. I would be surprised if the total number of hours of sleep of these four candidates combined is over 20 from this past week. These people have not only been speaking, thinking, breathing, sleeping, eating, everything Vanderbilt for the past week and a half, but just take one look at their resumes and you can see that all four have been doing it for the past four years straight. We have four phenomenal candidates this year and I really encourage you to take a look at their platforms. Morning View covered them all on Monday, so check out that episode on YouTube if you don't feel like reading. We don't have a lot of time left for the polls to be open, but there's certainly enough time for you to go out, vote, and make a difference. We owe it to these candidates. That's all I have to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> well, um, I, it, it seems that we couldn't have Tanner and Fletcher on here, but, um, but I'm glad we got to talk to Ryan. And, you know, I think, it, you know, even if you're not planning on voting for Ryan or if you didn't vote for Ryan and Hannah and you have already voted for Tanner and Fletcher, that, that his message of voting and not being apathetic about our student government is so important because, you know, it is sad that... I mean, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. Sometimes, you know, like last year, I completely forgot about the elections and like, yeah, that's, not, that's, like, that's not good. So, you know, I'm coming into my last year here at Vanderbilt, which is really sad and kind of scary, but I want, you know, I want to make a difference. So I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to vote here in a couple minutes and uh, hopefully encourage you, to do the same you guys will result. do the same, exactly. Um, no matter who it is for, oh. Not hard. Vote. They make it so easy. I did it. And it took me honestly. It took me 30 seconds. Do and it. That it's on it took so long. 30 seconds was so long because I couldn't type in my password because I was like trying to do it really fast. And so I, of course I messed up my password like yeah. four times. Take that. You you're looking at 15 seconds, people. Yep. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. You have no excuse. And you'll probably be inside as well because it's dreary outside. Even though we have a high today of 62 and a low of 38 with a 20% chance of rain, it feels like it feels way colder than a high of 62. It feels it's awful. Bad. It's looking dreary, so stay inside. Be on your computer. It's okay. Vote. Yep. And then celebrate this weekend because we'll have beautiful weather of highs in the 60s and a really low percent chance of rain. Yeah, what?
that? My, my first softball, softball game is on Friday. I'm so excited. Did you play softball? Yeah, I joined a co-ed league with my uh, with my boyfriend, and we're in a double header league. So every Friday night, I'm playing two softball games. And I went to the batting cages on Monday, and I was like, bam, 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 hitting the hitting the balls out of the nets, and I was catching them, and it was so fun. I'm so excited. Yeah. And I'm going to be important because you have to have at least three girls on your team, like on the field mm -hmm. at any given point for co-ed. So like <laughs> I'm one third of the most important people. So Sweet. That's awesome. You are a big deal. That is neat. I'm we are learning deal. so much today, man, but I feel like yeah. I've, we've learned so much. And then, wow, it's yeah. just been a really great day. It's been a great day. It's been really I hope you guys enjoyed this show as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And uh, vote. Have a great weekend, and uh, we'll, one of you will be back on Monday with Carly Schwartz and Sam Mack.